Hello everyone. Today we are going to do package reserve using a two version seven one dot four dot seven package user configure router interfaces. Here's addressing table objectives. Part one: configure IPv4 addressing and verify connectivity. Part two: configure IPv6 addressing and verify connectivity. Background: routers R1, R2 each have two lanes. Routers R1. R2, each have two lens, two lens, LAN 1, LAN 2, and R2 is LAN 1 and LAN 2. Okay, so your task is to configure the appropriate addressing on each device and verify connectivity between the lens. The user executive password is Cisco, the privileged executive password is class. Okay, instructions. Part one, configure IPv4 addressing and verify connectivity. Step one, assign IPv4 addresses to R1 and the LAN devices. R1 and the LAN, de LAN devices are these two PCs. Referring to the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R1 LAN interfaces, R1 LAN interfaces. Here's R1 LAN interfaces are these two interfaces because of these two interfaces connected to these two LANs, this LAN network or the subnet net network. Okay, the PC1, PC2, the serial interface has already configured. So we ignore this serial interface configuration. This is in serial interface. Okay, let's, let me go here. Here, this is serial interface. We ignore it. We only need to configure these two LAN interfaces, G00 and G01. And, the, and also these two interfaces are the default gateway of these two LANs. Okay, G00 here from the dressing table, the G00, G01, R1. These two interfaces are LAN interfaces. Okay, we need to configure the IP address for these two interfaces and uh, these two PCs. Let's go to R1. Enter. Password Cisco. Enable. Class. Configure. Terminal. So now, we need to configure the IP address for these two interfaces, G00, G01. So we need to go to interface configuration mode. We use command interface G00. So IP address is IP address command followed by the IP address. G00 IP address is here, 172.16.20.1. So 172.16.20.1, followed by the subnet mask. Here they give us the prefix slash 25. So from here we can tell the subnet mask is 255.255.255.128. Okay, so no shutdown. Don't forget this command, no shutdown, because all the interfaces on router are in shutdown mode by default. So we need to use command no shutdown to activate the interface. So enter. So you will see the information interface G00, change state to up, protocol up, go. That means this interface is activated. So next we need to configure interface G01 another LAN interface. Okay, IP address. G01 IP address is uh, 172.16.20.129, 172.16.20.129, followed by the subnet mask. Here's a slash 25. So the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.128. Okay, no shutdown, don't forget. Okay, so, so now we finished these two LAN interface configuration. 
Next, we need to configure these two PCs. Let's go to PC1 first, desktop IP configuration. So we need to copy PC1's IP address information and paste it to this window. So PC1 is 172.16.20.10. Okay, 172.16.120.10. Subnet mask is 25, should be 255.255.255.128 is the same. Don't forget this default gateway. PC1 here, the default gateway is the interface G00 on R1. So interface G00's IP address should be the default gateway IP address. 172.16.20.1. This is here, 20.1. Okay, we finished PC1. And uh, let's go to PC2. Okay, we copy PC2's information to here. PC2, 172.16.20.138. 72, 16, 20 to 138. Mm, subnet mask is 255.255.255.128. 255 255 and default gateway. PC2's default gateway is uh, interface G01 on R1. G01. So G01's IP address should be the default gateway IP address. So here's 20.129, so here's 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to 172.16.20.129. Okay, so we finished this part, first part. So next we need to verify the connectivity. PC1, PC2 should be able to ping each other and the do stack server. Do stack server is here. So let's go to ping PC1, ping PC2. PC2 is here, 138. Ping 172, 16, 20, so 138. PC2, success. Okay, let's ping do stack server. Do stack server's uh, IPv4 address is uh, 6401.10. So we ping uh, from, uh, from device to device, we ping is uh, IPv4 ping IPv4. IPv6 ping IPv6. Don't mix them together. So here is IPv4. So we ping IPv4 address of the server. So 64.100.1.10 um, is a success. OK. All right. So PC2 ping PC1. PC2 ping PC1. PC1 is 20.10, 172.16.20.10, successful. And from PC2, P server is 64.100.1.10, success. OK, so we finished part one. Part two is configure IPv6 addressing and verify connectivity. Step one is assign IPv4 addresses to R2 at the LAN devices. R2, let me do here. R2 and LAN devices. LAN devices are these two PCs, PC3 and PC4. Referring, referring to the addressing table, configure IP addressing for R2 LAN devices. R2 LAN devices should be these two devices, G, uh, G01, G00 these two. Okay. Mm. It's coming, yeah, these two interfaces are LAN interfaces on R2. 
Yeah, G00, G01, these two interfaces is, are LAN interfaces. So we need to configure this into these two interfaces and the PC3, PC4. Okay, let's go. Password the Cisco, enable, password the class. Okay, configure terminal. Okay, we configure on R2, configure these two LAN interfaces G00, G01. We go to interface G00 first, IP address. Oh, IPv6, don't forget, IPv6 address. IPv6 address G00 is this one. We copy this and paste to here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no shutdown. Don't forget this. All right, so we go to G01, interface G01. IPv4, IPv6 address is uh, G01, it's 13. So here is 13, all other numbers are the same. So we change to uh, change to 13, okay? No shutdown. All right, so we finished these two LAN interfaces configuration. Next, we need to configure these two PCs, PC3. Desktop IP configuration, IPv6 is here. So PC3's IP address is here, this one, okay. IPv6 address is here, 12, column A, prefix is 64. Default gateway here, PC3's default gateway is FE80, column, column 2. FE80, column, column 2. So we finished three, PC3, let's go to PC4. PC4, IPv6 address is here. So 13, okay, 13, we need to change this to 13. And the prefix, 64. Default gateway. FE80, column, column 2, the same FE80, column, column 2. All right, so we finished configuration. Look at the completion here, it's 100%. That means um, the IP uh, address configuration are successful. So next, the last part, last step is very the verify connectivity, PC3, PC4 can ping each other and the do stack server, do stack server is here. So let's ping from PC3 to ping PC4. So ping, ping PC4. Uh, PC4, PC4 is 13, okay, 13. Success. Success, let me uh, copy this. And the uh, ping from PC3 to ping server. Okay. So here server has two, because the do stack has two IP addresses. One is IPv4 address, one is IPv6 address. So we need to ping IPv6, because IPv6 ping IPv6. Mm, here a, is a one, here's one, 100, okay. Success, so from PC3 to server, success. All right, so let's ping from PC4 to ping PC3. PC3 is 12, let's go to change to the 12. Success. Mm -hmm. So now from PC4, ping server, 
the server is P, uh, IPv6 ping IPv6. Here's the 100. Okay, success server people IPv6 address. Correct. All right, so we perfectly finish this pack tracer. Configure router interfaces. So thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share with your friends. See you next time.